Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in the world of Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. We're going to start up with some just side dealies and then quite soon do the only remaining story mission that is available to us for this chapter, more than likely. <laughs> but let's go mastering stasis and get some wheat. Let's see, do we want to try and level anyone else up? Because more than likely I'm not going to be playing... Like, some characters I'm going to play more than others. It's just leaning that way. Especially as I unlock more. It's just like, I think Link, because Link is a good boy. He needs to level up more. Let's see, do we want to cook anything? Damage from fire, movement speed, perfect dodge timing window. Movement speed, damage... I guess let's increase our damage a bit. Let's do the thing, Billy. Master Stasis and see if I can avoid clicking the magic elemental wand button today. Or if I'll use it intentionally. More tips. Wall jumping. Ah, small wall jumps in the air. Ah, it's possible to perform small wall jumps in the air. This is done by facing a wall or similar object and pressing B twice. I did not know that. I don't know if there's any practical application. Hello, bomb. Don't want to bomb myself. Come on, come all to death. Get out of here. Yes. I kind of like to stasis you. Smack, smack, smack. Lots of damage for the boy, the birthday boy, who is now dead. Birthday dead. What wonders in magic. Oh, I forgot the chest, but they open up on their own, so there's no, like, anything. Ah, we got that, finally. Yay. I'm not even sure. Nope. Dang it. I almost dodged through them. My dream. Rushed through the enemy line and it's like, aha, you thought you were safe. But you won't have to do it from a safe distance to actually do it. We're going to ignore that because don't want to blow myself up. Many tasteless jokes that can be made there, but don't want to blow myself up. Hello, friend. To stasis with you. You'll wake up in a thousand years. <laughs> Bokoblin Isekai win. That time that I was reincarnated as a Zelda Bokoblin enemy. Smash him! Smash and bash him! Hungry Hungry Hippos, Dead Moblin. The new hit game for kids. Ah, oh, we got a sword. Run away! You're, you shouldn't be here if I can't kill you. That's the one thing. I kind of understand why they do it, because they kind of want to let you know, yes, the thing is over. But it would just be nice to... See enemies still there and be like, time to smack you. Time to kill you. Mwahaha. <laughs> and just have fun. Oh well. But I guess. Things to talk about. Well, I guess we'll. I keep forgetting to read the scenarios for the actual, like, mini quests. Like, the actual battle scenarios, I think. I'm so. Because, like, the other ones are more interesting, I think. But now we can go finish this! Give him the bugs. The stable master's child was so happy. I forgot to read that one too. God damn it. With the insects that she ran up to her father with the bugs scooped in her hands. The birthday was a success. But the father may never be the same. 
now available. Except not. Oh, they don't even have uh, diddly dees. Ah, Daruk's training. That would be nice, but it was another another thing that we can't do. Now you will be added. Shock shrooms, add to the sensor. We can buy the shock shrooms. Yeah. Or zap shroom. Uh. Come on, shock shroom. It's there in the name. Go ahead and buy some sun shrooms since we don't have them. We'll stock up because I think these are for like health, like just like in Breath of the Wild. Those add. Did we get all of them or only some of them? Well, we got all of them. Good. They increase your health a bit. Oh, wait. The owner of a shop is tired of seeing white snow everywhere. It's just so dreary. She wants to liven things up by selling colorful goods. Find some things that will help. Here's a dead Lazalfos tale. The goods you brought really brightened up the shop and lifted the owner's spirits too. Her shop's snowy feathers is more like a colorful peacock now. Come back anytime. Yeah. I love the Rito. The Rito are some of my favorite. Oh. I need to draw birds more so I can draw oh. like myself as a Rito. This is just wonderful. Ah, we can buy sapphire. A single sapphire. We all have one, so I don't think we need to need them. We'll buy oh. those because we don't have any. We'll buy these because we oh. don't we have one. We'll buy Tabantha oh. wheat. Oh. See anything else? We're still looking for that one which can seems to be able to be done with Daruk's training. So let's -a go indeed. Ah, but before we do that, let's go to the weaponsmith, see if there's anything that we want to fuse and stuff. Jesus Christ. Luckily, we can't do that, apparently. For some reason. Uh, let's level up the... Let's see. Rito Craftsman forged this lightweight double-edged sword so Rito warriors could soar into battle unhindered by its weight. Let's try and uh, level this up. I want to use this. Chance to automatically guard, but no, I don't think so. Monster part drop weight. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but as I do things leading up to other things, one happy out of nowhere thing, apparently, my internet provider is just randomly finally getting around to giving me fiber gigabit internet at my home, so that'll be neat. And we don't have enough money. And already we've got the upgrade, and it also comes with unlimited data. Woot. And we're set to have it done soon, which is super exciting. Cannot wait. I just kind of got used to the, eh, not terrible. It'll be definitely interesting to see how much of a difference it makes. Hopefully it goes off without a hitch. Knock on wood. Because it's just... <laughs> I've had internet problems basically my entire life. And I fear. Fear things. Time to beat up Lizalfos! I almost did the thing. I love the music in the game. One thing, one thing would get me to emulate Breath of the Wild. Like, a Breath of the Wild Age of Calamity music pack. That would just, like, yes, that would love it. I'd want it so much.
Where's the big people? Where's the big dudes that must die? We haven't seen his special. No, we did see his special. Like once. Up there, over here. Or I guess it's just like, oh, more of them spawned. But I already know that. That's why I'm going about murdering them, game. <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with the mighty Daruk. Explosions. Ah, uh, just beating up this many enemies is super fun. I love it. Now, where's that moblin? Hello, mobbo. Chuan, explosion. Can't seem to dodge out of his stasis ability. That's sad. At least for volley, you can actually dodge out of it. Oh yeah! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Praise the Macho Man. Macho Man as a Goron would be fantastic. I need to learn his combos. These are actually super fun. But at the same time, ever so slightly wonky. Come on, spawn more. I want big, big, big hoopla of enemies to kill. Big hoopla. Yes, exactly. Uh, I keep misreading the map. Dang it. And luckily, I have this. I don't think they can. Oh. I didn't even mean to dodge that well. Wow! Booyah! Yes, you can walk on it! Daruk stands above all, even if the screen doesn't let him look like it. Wahoo! I love this game. This game is super fun. It's a wonderful time. And I've actually gotten used to the English voice actors. Like, I've never actually heard the Japanese character, like the Japanese voice actors for the Breath of the Wild games. But it's just like, some of the voices sound a bit off at times. Anti-flame train. Or mastering magnesis. Mm. Can we do this? We can do this one. Goron warriors who have invented a dangerous new pastime. Playing hot potato with a ball of red choo-choo jelly. Would you mind collecting some of the fiery material for them? Super easy. Tossing around the ball of red choo-choo jelly, the Gorons really built up their stamina. Even the great Daruk joined in, and after playing a few rounds, he thought of a new move. Booyah! We need a coconut. Oh, ah, yes, we can do this one now. Yay! Oh, it's the it's the die shop. I don't think I use the die shop that much, but hey, times can change. The dying shop can't get hold of its main supplier, a merchant of dyes. You found someone who knows how to make contact, but he said he wants a gemstone in return. You can have a gemstone. After you handed over the gemstone, the informer was revealed to be the dye merchant himself. Sounds like a needless runabout to you, but at least the dyeing shop is restocked. 
You can visit the dye shop and change the color of your attire, but be aware that nominal cost. The dye shop owner needs to eat too. <laughs> Restore to original color isn't that bad. But it's expensive, especially for white. My favorite color. Ah! But hey, I kind of like that they brought this in, too. Well, that's actually pretty decent. But I'm going to wait till I have the full set. Yeah, this does... Kind of sad that it doesn't change the plate. I know why that it wouldn't, but... Ever so slightly makes it the least interesting. Let me guess, just the plume? Just the plume. It is physics. <laughs> Look at the plume. Look at the plume. What about prototype? <laughs> what about the prototype? Oh. Should have seen that coming. And then this? What does it change here? Once again, very, very specific. The Zora? That wouldn't change much because it's already blue. Yay! It actually changes things. It makes it look interesting. Okay, let's see. This is a Link bonus heart. It needs the silent dealy. Well. And the melon. We don't really... Well, I'm sure we'll come across them eventually. Zesty meat skewer. We'll go ahead and put those on. Like, just in case they pop up in the future. But anti-flame training. Who should go here? Let's do you. Yep. Let's go, Impa. Anti flame train time. On to the flame train. Well, that is just kind of funny. I can get in contact with the dye merchant, but he needs a gemstone. Surprise, it was me, the dye merchant. I just needed a gemstone. Seems like an odd person. <laughs> Give! Laser beams. Well, go ahead. Probably could have just blown up a long time ago. But at the same time, we get a bunch of mooks in here as well. Destroy the boxes. Ah, oh, we do. Haha! -ha. We can probably ice him. Dang it, I missed. Oh! Kinda wastes my stasis, though. It wastes my stasis! Let me get up! Blow him up! Very quick. He's like, destroy these ones, and then destroy these ones. And that's it. The training one, the training series, seems very simple.
but oh so satisfying as well. That's the one thing about the Warrior series. It's just so satisfying to beat up hordes of enemies. And let's get us some practice in with some... The boy. Ah, this sword and shield combo looks really good. The shield looks especially interesting. It's very fun. Mid-air attacks, we know about those. Remote bombs, I need to use them more. Healing items, I forget that you actually have healing items in this game. The, like, uh, in the original Hyrule Wars, you could actually use a potion. In this one, it's like apples. Apples. All Lizalvos. Annihilate all the lizard aliens. You thought you were safe here, down in your little river valley? You're not. Here, lizards. Goodbye, lizards. Gather together, a big old family lizard reunion. How dare you spit at me? It's very unsanitary. <laughs> Sacred sword. else this way what is the monster not ah, just a moblin I will not <laughs> besmirch this fight and be like oh just a moblin nope and hammer time to your face I can get that anyway. Thank you, best combo. I didn't destroy the boxes. And now the boxes are here to taunt me. Mastering Magnesis. I only used Magnesis like twice. Once. Yeah, I only used it once. I don't know why I said twice. I'm so masterful, I used it more times than I actually used it. Amazing. And now we can get... Copious Fried Wild Greens! A restaurant known for a menu based on the mountain's bounty is planning a dinner party where the theme is Wild Greens. Collect what they need to feed a hungry crowd. A hundred crowd! The restaurant held its dinner party, and the turnout was incredible. The greens you gathered made for a memorable dish. The restaurant taught you the recipe, and thanks. Perfect dodge timing window, plus five, when it's just so many of individual things. Oh, now we got the, the first thing. Yay. I like that they actually super encourage you to go and do that. Yeah. Do you want to buy more? I guess in Durist oh. Room. Howdy oh. Durians. Octo Balloons, because oh. I remember there being quite a few oh. Octo Balloon ones in the future. I think we need a few of those. Yeah, these are some that we've been missing. I'll hold out. 
die shop. Yeah. We have a decent amount. Guess we'll get some more sugarcane. Mm. We don't need for cobbling guts. Oh. Hi. Hmm. Uh. These, just so that we have a, a uh. decent amount. Blue nightshade. These will be great to cook into food. You know, one of the most known poisonous plants in the world. I wonder how well known nightshade is around the world, actually. Never really thought about it. It's entirely possible that other places don't know that much about Nightshade, and I'm just being presumptuous. Probably. And of course, more experience. Surprising. Always more experience. Come along, my Rito boy. We must travel to the desert in this heavy armor. I think we're flying in the wrong direction. The Gerudo lived in a settlement in the Gerudo Desert. Whoever could have guessed. Entirely of women. They were a tribe of great might and nobility. For her exceptional strength and her ability to harness lightning, Urbosa, chief of the Gerudo, was the clear choice to pilot divine beast Va Naboris. Zelda knew Urbosa thanks to her close relationship with the late Queen of Hyrule. With her party in tow, Zelda traveled to Gerudo Town to speak with her old friend. However, their journey took an unexpected turn. Now it is time to murder more people. <laughs> Obviously, we must murder the Gerudo. They're trying it first and foremost. But why? Why are the Gerudo attacking us? Because it's just serious tradition at this point. Urbosa will surely be able to explain everything if we can reach her. And now for wanton slaughter. <laughs> they are attacking, you know, don't try to talk it out first. You tried to attack us first. Do not falter. Take Zelda down. Because, you know, the more scholarly scholarly princess is totally the one that must die first. But no, don't question it. I don't know why you're here, but I'll destroy you all. Also, foxes. Foxes! Leave none standing. Go ahead, head there. Okay, it was taking a bit to register that. Did I have it hovering over a section of unselectable ground? It's not really bait. I came here to get more killing dom.
<laughs> Who doesn't love a good fight? Well, I mean, considering you're trying to kill us. I don't think that really qualifies as a good fight. <laughs> She's acting unlike herself. Who would have guessed? The close friend of the Hylians saying we must annihilate the Hylians. Maybe things are odd. Destroy them all, Ravali. Destroy them all. They're trying to distract us with shinies. Hello, we're here to crash the party. G Orbusa, Arbosa, the Great Arbosa. Tempest. Why? What are you doing? Thwarting your destiny, of course. And the Gerudo don't think this is odd. <laughs> Why is our leader talking like a villain? I came back as quickly as I could. <gasps> Not exactly what I expected to find. Abosa? I hope you're not hurt, little bird. <laughs> Played it again. I was exactly gonna say they need to play it again. <laughs> you got some nerve thinking you can go toe to toe with <laughs> That's a cool transition thingy. Top banana of the Ega clan. I'll show you. <laughs> Me excluded, of course. <laughs> Even the Yiga clan question their leader more than the Gerudo do. <laughs> Me excluded, of course. Impa. Need to find all the big big bananas and must destroy them all, like this guy. It's nice to know that you're not actually trying to destroy us. I like that you can actually go in here even though there's probably not much reason to. Can't even go through the door. Just a nice little, hey, you could go in here in Twilight, uh, in Breath of the Wild. So here we go again. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Strike like lightning.
Now, the real question is, how did Master Koga even do that? <laughs> have enough time to set himself up and have nobody question the new the new out of mindset. Because obviously, Orbosa had to have been somewhere. So that he, Koga could come in and be like, yes, I am actually <laughs> Orbosa. Don't question anything. So obviously some of the Gerudo had to have known where the real Urbosa was. I guess maybe she was ambushed by some Yiga clan elsewhere. But they just, they never really set up that at all. Just th thunder, thunder for everyone. No, I don't even need to stasis you. I can just smack you and get many mighty bananas. No archery for you, Bokoblins. Get that rush. And explosion. Just love it. It's sensitive to noise, it sounds a battle will ring loud enough, then perhaps. Do this, the ultimate loud attack. Apparently, that wasn't loud enough. Kind of thing. Oh, Rivali's been there this entire time. I forgot to undo it. Oh, I need bombs. I need bombs. You think that lightning striking sand would do it. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I think it only started saying, hey, defeat them with bombs after I started beating them with bombs. Here it is. The big dealy. <laughs> Melduga. And now we don't attack Melduga. Try, but we don't want to. <laughs> Come with me and die. Not to mention trying to kill Molduga at this rate, uh, in stage of the game, is most ill advised. Ooh. 
love that move. It draws so many of them in. Smack him away. Link is just such a great all-round character in this game. Smash the box! Get those combos going! Why do the Bokoblins have cannons? Who let the enemy have cannons? Very ill advised. Nope. Get out of here. Bring it on. You annoy me with your smack to the ground, so now I smack you. Smack him! Get out of here. Now blast our way across the sands of evil that hold just a lot of buck goblins for some reason. And I can guess we'll want to destroy the giant monster sometime. Up, oh, thing, thing. Oh, chest. Did not know there was a chest there. We have to get there. We must go around a different way then, maybe. I'm sure there's probably a way that way, but this seems clearer. And of course, the Bok Goblins only come out once the Gerudo are now our friends. Couldn't be here to distract the Gerudo when they were our enemies, could you? Silly, silly monsters. I wonder if they still, like, uh, revive by the blood moon. Or if that's only until after Calamity Ganon comes to power. Yes, keep smacking them. You will not survive this. He has no choice but to wreck us himself. Alright, odd, I can't lock onto him. Probably lock on to him now, though. Maybe. Kind of aggravating, but I can't do that. Fly! Oh. Oh, there we go. Hello, Master Koga. Dang it, I was in the middle of pressing the button, too. He has a strong weak point. Okay, didn't even mean to make a rush out of that, but sure. As he said, watch and learn. Explosions. Too easy. 
Beat him up. Beat him up against the wall. <laughs> My father's mother's father. What even did he say? From my ashes, I will rise again. Be still. Smash his weak point. Take this. Blow the top banana out of the tree and onto the ground, in which will be splattered and eaten by monkeys. How could these losers defeat me? Because you are the fool. And now, the big muscle of this clan comes out to play. <laughs> banana this, banana that. Forget these cowards. It's time to retreat. I think not. <laughs> How is that guy not the top banana is the real question. We got a stick, a boko bat. And just lots of ah, we got more. We finally got the watermelons or hydromelon. Don't know why we can't call it a watermelon. I guess water is copyrighted in this world. Thank you for meeting me here. The town is a bit, uh, chaotic, shall we say. Of course, Arosa. We'd meet you anywhere. You know about the... Yiga clan, I trust. Shika traitors working in the shadows to revive Calamity Gen. Don't know why they do that. He, he wants Those to destroy the world. Have Just been wreaking havoc here in Gerudo Canyon. Crazy people. We want to raise the Calamity Monster. How long he totally won't betray us. Watch them get away with it. No longer, I say. I will pilot. Divine beast. You are precious to me, and you need my help. I cannot refuse. Thank you, Urbosa. As Princess of Hyrule, I too will carry out my sworn duty. Little bird. Or both is just like However, I am able to support you Rome is messing up as a father. Just say the word. So you turned and fled. Is that it? Well, New okay. villain time. It seems that, as low as my expectations of you were, I was overly optimistic. What? Well, no matter. 
<laughs> Shrine of Bananas. My harbinger, show me. Ah, we finally get to future. see the evil egg. That implies that there's a dark future where the egg got corrupted by Calamity Ganon, which I guess would be the canon timeline. Oh god, the canon timeline's trying to kill this change timeline. Oh no. As it will and must be, I will not allow anyone to alter its course. That's the only way that there can be two eggs, right? <laughs> Little guardians, one from the canon timeline of everyone's doomed. Has to be. Urbosa, the chief of the Gerudo who possesses the power to command lightning itself. She was close friends of the late Queen of Hyrule. Now she is entrusted with piloting divine beast Va Naboris. It's very interesting. It won't just unlock everything now. Woot. Unlock so many things. Study the blade. To refine his sword technique, Link has been instructed to train in Hyrule Field by cutting grass. He'll have to collect a proof of some kind to show that he's completed the assignment. How about just mountains of grass blades? <laughs> After training, Link realized he could swing his sword more swiftly, giving foes less chance to strike. He greatly did learn something. He really did learn... Tongue does not like the words. He really did learn something from cutting grass. Spear combo, I don't use spears. Two-handed combo, we might use two-handed things in the future. In preparation for the calamity, the youths of Hatino Village have banded together to defend the town. Link ought to bring them a little something to show his support. The Hatino Defense Squad loved the gifts Link brought them. Seeing them take initiative inspired him to put even more effort into his own training. Uh. <laughs> Formo was just like, what's happening? Someone has told you how, to su how he survives life in a village plagued by lightning. He eats a dish that keeps him from being shocked. Bring him the ingredient and then he'll tell you how to make it. Sure. You were served a mushroom skewer, grilled to perfection. The aroma alone was worth it, and eating it will keep you from going numb when zapped. You have learned this useful recipe. Still looking for that. Still looking! Might as well grab this, just in case. Guests from across the land have been invited to Central Hyrule for a grand banquet to strengthen their bonds. Prepare delicacies from each region to entertain the visitors' taste buds. Wahoo! I refuse to be anything less than the chefs of Central Hyrule eagerly sharpen their knives, itching to experiment with the new ingredients. There was little doubt that a delightful meal awaited the banquet attendees. I guess there's only... I guess there's these down here, too. Urbosa's Desert Training. Urbosa plans to embark on a grueling form of training, doing battle with Electric Lizolfos outside Gerudo Town. Give her something to help stave off the heat of that blazing desert sun. Primed to withstand the scorching heat, Urbosa easily mowed down one Electric Lizolfos after another. She returned from this intensive training with a new move under her belt. Some Gerudo Vi, who are passionate about research, plan to perform an experiment with lightning. It seems they want to discover new applications for electrical energy. The experiment ended in failure, not to mention a painful shock for all involved. Rather than being dismayed, however, the researchers shared a hearty laugh. Even Urbosa had a smile on her face. Ah, we just need lots of money. 
Might as well do this. Urbos is training. Can't wait till we can get that get more rubies. Rupees. Recipe. That'd be kind of funny. Eat this meal to earn more money. Economists hate him. Loading. Urbosa, an attack finisher, will send sparks scattering. While the sparks are present, press ah to quickly charge the lightning gauge. Okay. Oh. Trying to... Where does it go? Dang it, still hit me. Smash them and bash them. Smash them and bash them ever more. know how to do that trick to quickly charge ah that's how you do it I guess Utterly fearless. Well, I'm just overpowered. Mwahaha. Plus, she has the power of lightning on her side, so... <laughs> Where did they even get this power? Like, Rivalis could just be... The Rito magic at work. Don't really know why desert and lightning go together. I don't get that. I don't really think there's much use to unlocking this one. But we might as well, just so it's open. Wanted shop assistant. Some parents are worried for their daughter who took over their shop. She needs an assistant to help with tasks that can sink a shop if left unhandled. For that, she'll need money. Have tons of money. Oh. With the money you brought in, the shop owner hired some help, and her parents were glad to see their daughter turn the shop around. Stop by to buy things sometime. I already bought so many things. And they're all expensive things, too. Well, ah, Link, two-handed weapons training. I thought I say I, I probably ate a claymore, so... Probably ate a claymore. They so should probably go level up. Well, we don't have much money. So we will go over here and do these then. Oh, Link Spears. And I guess we'll go learn that spear combo. With a grin, the instructor informed Link that beating those off us was actually his first lesson. It seems Link's spear training is off to a good start. Yes, yes, yes. Use the spear. Use the spear. We shall be traditional. Use a soldier's spear. 
Well, that would be funny. Why are you using a monster-made weapon? It brings me joy to crush the innocent. Shocking. Running. Safe landing. Spears. To lunge faster than the eyes can see. This can be used in the middle of other attacks, too. and use it. Destroy him all! That's a long super combo. Or, well, super ability. How dare you interrupt my combo! Ran into it. How rude. Beat him up. Destroy them all. Combo them all to death. Combos for everyone. <laughs> Combos for everyone. Just seeing so many enemies got in the super, even if it's not that bad that many, it looks like a lot. And that's the magical part of it. It's shooting me. It's annoying. I hate that it breaks combo. Where's that upgrade that I could get in the original Hyrule Warriors that just says, screw you. I can take an attack. Ah, he missed. How do you miss an ice block? There we go. Beat him up! Beat him up! Fear me! Fear me! I run with the Lizalfos. You've heard of walking with dinosaurs, running with the Lizalfos. We have money. We can come to the blacksmith. And let's see. We'll level up this axe, I guess. And I shall take that. <laughs> it is not much. else don't want to eat anything else <laughs> did not do much <laughs> I will 
Yes, yes, yes. We put on an axe. And smash some dudes. If only we had a better claymore. But I ate that when I was doing the Rito sword. <laughs> Why don't we have a claymore anymore? I fed it to the bird sword. It can eat? Freezing. Magnesis. Seals. Cryonis. Magnesis. Special attacks. Evading. Perfect dodge. Shikarun. I <laughs> was like... Beat them all up. And then I can eat. <laughs> A sky strike with an axe. <laughs> That's Link for you. His talent knows no bounds. Doesn't he, though? Now I kind of want a Claymore Master Sword. combat you just see a guy with an axe fly through the battlefield like even for training just imagine if you were a part of like Link's graduating guard class You'd feel terrible. He was just like, Dave, why aren't you like Link? I don't know, sir. And there's seriously nobody thinking, hmm, maybe the super powerful guardsman. Maybe he's the hero. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> he just went turbo speed. Find a good batch of guards. Come on, get over here in the training field. That was the one thing that I disliked about this mission when I did it the first time. They just don't spawn that many guards, all things considered. But hey, we get to see Lon Lon Ranch seemingly intact. Last two. <laughs> and now Daruk wants in on it. Eat the food. Heal my health. Smack Daruk.
Sorry, Daruk. Smashy, smashy. Fear the link. He wields an axe. Smashy, smashy. With an axe. Booyah. What magical things. And now we can do this one. Zesty Meat Skewer. A merchant has a bad cold, runny nose, and bad chills, but refuses to get any rest. Come up with a new recipe that will warm him up on the inside, and then cook it for him. <laughs> you came up with a recipe on the fly that warms a person to the bones. The merchant felt better after he ate it, and you got a new recipe in the process. Damage from ice? <laughs> no more. Hair breath, hair with trial beginner. No healing items. One hit failure. If so, we're going Ravali. He has that range. The range that we require to beat up these people. I just need to hope that uh, there aren't that many ranged enemies. Surely they won't be that mean to come here. It's just like, if you get hit once, you die. Now here's a million archers. <laughs> Bing on. Who's coming in for a lunge? No. 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 I refuse. I refuse. Now get out of my outpost. <laughs> Pose. And that is why I use Rivali for those. <laughs> it's just like, I'm not going to come for you, especially when they had a, just a line of the bokoblins that throw things at you. No. I refuse. Ah, Link one-handed. Yes, yes, I know, I know. You're using the wrong weapon, Billy. Use the right weapon! I just got back from doing the other, hey, use this one weapon type. Silly game. Hmm. Uh, ah, while running to shield surf. I know that I did that in like the first mission. But I thought it was like a combo heavy move. Well, like, not combo heavy, but like a heavy attack during a combo move. <laughs> you... you are not ready for this. Link is here to destroy you all. And I'm getting tons of crickets. Have trouble finding crickets? Just do the one-handed challenge. Everyone charge. Probably a poor decision. <laughs> the shock. The fear in his voice. Okay, which of the soldiers brought in a Baco Club? 
Who destroyed their normal equipment? Now that's a lot of people worth destroying. Come along, everyone, and goodbye. Hold your positions as you all get destroyed by this one guy. We're destroying them so bad, multiple spawns are happening at the same time. Love the vortex that that causes. Goodbye, dear friends. Come along, come and play. Be annihilated. I love that we did a special and killed so many enemies. We got our special back immediately. Ah, we got a broadsword. Finish him off. Ah, apparently not. Come on. Come join the fun. I let him mean disappear. Fear Link. Fear Link. He just annihilates everyone. And the frogs! Yay! Ah, what majesty. Oh. <laughs> Come, train up some of your people that are low level. Considering the level difference, probably, yeah. Like, surely this also, like, raises their level during encounters in case I, like, take control of them. Right? Right. Now, the Breach of Demise. Hmm... I wanna play I wanna play more play more Link. Or actually, more Rivali. You have a lot to look forward to. He will break the demise. Or will the demise break? Wah. 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 I love the loading screen. It shows that all the all the playable characters you've unlocked up to this point. It's just super cool. Take him away, Bill. Spawn in more suckers to die. Watch and learn. I don't even need to throw bombs at you. I've bombs in my special. <laughs> Be still. Even though it'll probably just kill you. Eh. Take this. Booyah. What majesty.
take this ice whiz robe with your creepy smile. I just love Rivali because he's such widespread destruction. I don't know what he's shocked about. We're annihilating them. Like so, annihilation unfolds. Annihilate, annihilate, and now there's fire everywhere. Luckily, I can just fly. How dare you knock me out of the air? Very rude. That is why you are all now dead. Watch and learn. Watch and learn as I just create absolute destruction upon all. Annihilate them all. Broke both of their weak points at that. Double weak point. Destruction. Now get out of my outpost. Pose. Yes. Oh, uh, what majesty. Just love it. He does such great damage and everything. Damage, coverage, and just destroys everything. Let's see. Another diddly do over here. Anti-lightning training. It's a low level one, so... Mm. Anti-lightning. Let's get some more practice in. With Impa. We don't need that lightning skewer. We just need to get good and not be hit at all. <laughs> and that is how you truly do things. Do it this way, or how about I just destroy you? Choo-choos. Choo-choos and choo-choos. Okay. Okay. Just madness all around. Madness abound. And now Choo Choo's are very. Okay, everything is madness. Ow. Like that, we can just do tons of damage elsewhere. Ran out. There we go. Now come on, let's blow you all to hell. Some magic TNT barrels, explosions, and I missed my stasis. I'm a failure of ninja school. Go. Hey. 
die. Nope. Aha! Got him on the back swing. And another! He's just... Okay, I, I'm stuck in the slowdown. I think. I'm not sure, is that the frame rate or the slowdown? Because <laughs> I think we were still stuck in the flurry rush slowdown. <laughs> we killed him, and then the thing ended, so it's just like, we do not know how to handle this. <laughs> Eternal slowdown. Luckily, it was at the end of the level. I can accept that. <laughs> Do more! Spend more of your money! Let's see. Oh no. We want to. There we go! Bring up the damage. <laughs> da -da. That's odd. It's turning everything into healing effect. There we go. Trying to understand how it functions. <laughs> sometimes you have to put in the last one, sometimes you have to put in the first one. Ah, more monster part dropper. Works for me. <laughs> We're gonna run out of money so fast. Doubt we have enough to, but let's see, we can sell things. High resale weapon. Mm -hmm. Anyone else have high resale weapons? Mm -hmm. I want to level up Link Swords some more. Now let's see if we can beef up the sword. Without annihilating. Ah, Troublous Claymore. Let's try and keep that, shall we? Ah, another Traveler's Claymore, so... Go back. Maybe they should do... <laughs> Two more damage points, but that's always nice. <laughs> of course, down here. An innkeeper was quite proud of her new all-metal establishment, until she was reminded about the region's frequent thunderstorms, help her add some electricity-resistant insulation. Huh, not bad. I got a bonus combo and a silly hat. 
I forgot to read that. But luckily, it's the end thing, so we can read it. Its walls lined with lightning-proof materials, the inn finally opened for business. Now rain or shine, the innkeeper could rest easy. As good are lodgers, of course. Two handed weapon combo, spear combo. I think this is to do. Bonus hearts. The people of Zora's Domain would like to present a heartfelt offering to the goddess statue watching over them. Pick some fruit to leave at the statue along with the villagers' tribute. I am stronger than when you and the villagers of Zora's Domain offered up the fruit to the goddess statue, the water nearby sparkled as if to express gratitude. Huzzah! Ah, I didn't add that. Could have sworn that I did. And that's all I really care about right now. So on to Hyrule Outpost. It doesn't even have a name. Hmm. And then Mifa shall be uh, changed out with Ravali. You have a lot to look forward to. And of course. Experience. Quite satisfying. Onward we go. Triple team, let us fly! Oh, not even with fly. That, the four divine beasts were assembled with their pilots. Training began in earnest, and the plan to defeat Hyrule's enemies began to coalesce. Zelda continued her work, calibrating the divine beasts and researching ancient relics. Much to her frustration, however, her ceiling power remained dormant. She's doing what she can, but she can't awaken her power. That must suck. You have to do this, but I don't want to. But you have to, or else everyone will die. No pressure or anything. His Majesty did not offer even a single word of praise. Well, it's only natural that father would be frustrated. But, your highness... Right now, we must do whatever is in our power. Please inform Mifa and Daruk that we depart tomorrow morning. Then you plan to go to the Divine Beasts? Understood. Nice camera work there. Oh Hiding the egg. reason my ability hasn't awakened is because I haven't worked hard enough. That's not how it works. I imagine that when I visit the Divine Beasts, he'll say as much. Huh? Oh, uh, Link, you... It is me. I don't really know why they <laughs> it ends like that. The adjustments to the divine beasts are not yet complete. We must fine tune them for the individual pilots to ensure that they will be as effective as possible. So many of their parts are complex. We don't have enough time. Daruk, I have a request. Might I join you for training next time? I would like to be fully prepared. Learning new ways to fight foes might do me some good. Of course. The more the merrier. <laughs> Daruk is such a wholesome boy. Uh, is, we still need a knight gritty enough to seal the darkness. And they're nowhere to be found. Mifa's just like, but Link's right there. <laughs> Although, hey, if you see anybody that... Huh? Yeah, even he sees it. Huh? <laughs> Yiga clan stock laugh. The cans of Yiga clan laughter. Bring news. Your death. <laughs> Look at my short blade. It will stab you.
give me the symbols. The sigils. Okay, this this place is huge. Why is it huge? We must save the allies. Clear way. Link is predisposed. Let's see. The Yiga voices are so weird sounding sometimes. Explosions. New target is sighted. Destroy the Blade Master. No time. Explode him. With magic TNT barrels, this will teach you to betray the Shika. Yes, it hit him. Booyah. Booyah. Now die, please. Destroy the Moblin. Explode them all before the clones disappear. It is the perfect plan. Ah, yes. Now that's fun. Impact, go take care of that one. No, you don't. Watch and learn. You stand a chance. Annihilate them all. To head back a little bit. Take <laughs> We're surrounded on all sides. I'm sure the garrison would have heard by now. Surely. They would have heard the fighting, the screams, the absolute destruction that surrounds us all. Christ, there's so many of them. How big were the Yiga clan? Surely some of these have to be, like, 
clones. Okay, they just decide to die. Why did you fill your outpost with bombs? You absolute fool. Get down here, stop walking on sunshine. Dang it. Ah. You annoyed me, so I shall blow you up. You stand a chance. Works for me. How dare you try such inferior projectile warfare? You ever just want to create a tornado? Ah, uh, this could explain it. The garrison is already underway of being destroyed. Understandable. Hmm. Yeah, all things considered, probably would be best for you. <laughs> Smash him from the sky! Terrible at dodging. Blue Moblin? He that does not look blue. He looks black. Maybe a, maybe a brown Moblin. Ah, dang it, I, I dodged too quickly. Too fast for Furious. Garrison, open sesame. Open sesame. Let's go take down that ice moblin. When I fly onwards. Cool down. <laughs> cool down, electric moblin. Get out of that, and into a weakened state for me to annihilate you. Gotta get that combo. Once again, I may ask, why did you put bombs in your bases. And the one base that would kind of make sense to have explosives in, because it's the most wide, doesn't. Watch and learn! Now we will go on to try and catch the final moblin off, or at least the moblin over here. Why solve puzzle when you can just destroy it?
Get out of here. <laughs> Due to the involvement of the Rito in this war, there might not be any trees once it's over. Bring it down. And that is why Rivali is just amazing. Load him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Push them back further and further. Blow up the dude. Go ahead and head in there. Run into the blue moblins. <laughs> fine, fine. Get out of here, dear Blade Master. Get so good at clearing out enemies. That's not good at all. More stasis for you. No invasions. Steal yourself. Blow him up. I am ready. Bye bye, Moblin. Wow, he survived that. Now, I don't want to do this tree. Why climb when you can kaboom? And the best thing is, how are you struggling in battle? I destroyed basically everything over there. Weakling humans. Rivali cleanup service. Do you have nasty monsters that you just can't seem to kill? Just call in Rivali. For an airstrike. I mean, he has bombs. Rivali, the original drone. You don't think it would be... Oh, that, that explains it. I was just like... Okay, army, why are you not doing anything? There are enemies that way. And then it's just like, oh, it's because it was an ambush for me. 
And just realized we haven't seen Link at all. <laughs> My time has come, she says. What's with all the hubbub? What do you mean? <laughs> it got confused and ran out. Oh! <laughs> the Yiga in the, the Yiga clan got so distracted by all the warfare going around that they came out of their safe hiding spot because they were so confused. Wrong one. Wrong button. I destroyed the tree again. Yeah. -ha -ha. What even are the points of the Korok seeds in this game? Maybe I can increase things once we actually meet the Korok dude. Ravali. He is an entire army all by himself, purely by volume of fire. Uh-oh, it's a trap. We get to fight this guy for the first time. It has a giant enemy Kirby eye. We don't have time for this nonsense. Oh yeah. How did it even get here? This is like actual Hyrule territory. Beat up the Hinox. Love the one round weak point destructions. Ah, we, we ripped out the Hinox's guts. How grand. They're burning the town. What jerks. It is me. The big man. Hmm. Oh yeah. At least Link is there. Why is Link here? All the way at the back and not at the front lines destroying fools. Makes no sense. Hello, Suga. Beat up Suga! I will banish you from this plane of existence. Wow. Okay. You just opened yourself up to a world of hurt, my dude. Say goodbye to your weak point, boyo. You have a lot of health. Good for you. Booyah. I will not give up. Man, you take a lot of weak point punishment, my dude. Wrong button. Oh 
Booyah! Well, aren't you consistent? Perhaps our strategy should have focused more on you. Ah, I get it now. The plan was to draw away the uh, the pilots of the divine beasts because they knew about them. Link was kind of an unknown, just a normal soldier, so they didn't <laughs> actually plan on <laughs> him all that much. Understandable. Sure, he is kind of her personal knight, like Zelda's personal knight, to a degree. But they would still be more focused on the big leaders of the factions and not this nobody knight. So that explains my little question from earlier. <laughs> and now Suga is gone. I destroyed the Suga. Or as the cutscene says, he's running away. <laughs> And does backflips. He is a ninja. So he just flies about. Go, my. Yeah, the egg. Come on, Link. You took the glory away from the egg. How dare you? They were stinking kunai. They wouldn't have done that much. I suppose destiny is at work then. The future is fickle. <laughs> Love this. Love Neither the cinematography. Plan. Time to go. Marvelous cinematography. Marvelous. You used a shield and did your job. <laughs> it kicked the kunai away. I was wondering why the kunai was still there. It's like there had to be a thing. It's just there for the for it to kick it out of the way. The egg is one of the best characters. The egg is like you cannot escape the fury of the egg. You stole my glory. And it's been so long since I was up to date on this game. I wonder if I get to play as the egg. That'd be hilarious. Just more bows. A club. Ah, we finally got that. Joyous day. And now we can make movement speed and start battle for plus one health. I'm trying to think what movement speed would be super good about. Hello there, Mario LC. How are you doing this day? Ooh, a divine beast level. Ah, another one. And a heart. I forget, what is the heart? <laughs> what is the purpose of the heart? Increase hearts of all characters by one. Uh -huh. Let's see, but first let's go and do the things that we can automatically do. Bonus heart. Bonus combo, that takes precedence. Link was in the back lines because he had to stay near Zelda. That also makes sense. After much clamoring from warriors who use the flight range, Rivali has agreed to add a night course. Find some glow-in-the-dark stuff that would be applied to the targets. This will do. The flight range targets, create coated with paint derived from the luminous stones, glowed brightly in the night. Staff soon had a flurry of applications coming in for the night flight course. Yeah, I guess it's just like a combo. They both didn't really plan that much on it. It's like, oh, it's just another guard here defending the princess. Let's get rid of the heavy hitters, you know, the ones that are entrusted with the giant death robots. An irresistible aroma. The Goron warriors, feeling weary from long days of training, are hankering for some tasty rock roast cooked to a nice golden brown. Why not help them out with some fire-starting supplies? 
The irresistible aroma of prime rock roast attracted many hungry Gorons, and the well-cooked meal was polished off in the blink of an eye. No longer fatigued, they could now fight at will. What be this? Help in their way. Ah, another merchant. Yay. Have you already beaten Breath of the Wild? Uh, no, but I do believe I know everything about Breath of the Wild. I got, like, all the diddly D. I did all the Divine Beast dungeons, and then I was just stuck doing a bunch of side quests, and then life got in the way, and now I'm at the point of like, now I kind of want to restart from the beginning. Because that's rare. <laughs> another day, another time. Some travelers have rented a stable on their way to the Lost Woods. They plan to leave the stable as soon as they're equipped for the journey. Find what they still need. Oh. Equipped for their journey, the travelers head off for the Lost Woods, ending their long stay at the stable. That means the stable is now open for anyone who wants to use it. And he sells fish! Let's go ahead and buy fish that we're missing, just in case, because I want to. <laughs> Some things aren't going to make sense then. No, I think I know I've most everything, like, in the way. Like, I know the characters and did all, like, a bunch of major stuff. Although it's entirely possible that a lot of things are going to fly under the radar. Who knows? But I just love this game and I love everything. <laughs> I love the way it feels. I love what it does. Impulse training. Perfect. Da-da-da. Riding the wind. Just find funny that everyone gets hand gliders in this one. Everyone gets a glider. Except for the bird. That's just discrimination. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> My time has come to beat up allies during a training session. But I do like that we still get to fight allied ones. Next time in the loading screen, press L and R. Will do. I assume that that would... I Well, personally, my brain goes to, Oh, that would change the tips, but I shall take your suggestion to see. The Hylian captain must now be destroyed. Where's the captain? I must destroy the captain. There you are, captain. Time for explosions. We are stealing these guards' poor meals. We're taking their carrots. be super odd to fight this like you're just a normal guard you're just doing your duty doing some training and they're just like hey go get beat up by the super laser ninja how far in the game are you which game breath of the wild like I said Stopped playing a while ago because things just got in the way, but was I'd say I could have gotten comfortably to the point of all major things done, go to the castle. This game, uh, I actually a long time ago tried to do a off like back because I, when I, my brain was just going all over the place. So I was just like. Do I stream? Do I record? And now I'm just going all in on streaming, so I decided to restart my uh, progress to play the game again. But w before, when I was just, like, recording it, I got 
to... I'm trying to think exactly. Definitely after the... Do, 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 do. Definitely after King Rom had his last stand at Kylia Castle. And we got, like, the... The Master Sword. I'm trying to think of what things specifically ring bell. And then I believe we got to play as the top banana. I think I unlocked the top banana was my last playable character unlock. Give me my sigils, <laughs> poor training partner. But currently, we just got all the Divine Beasts and did the first, uh, after all the Divine Beast levels, really. We got all the pilots. Like this timeline. <laughs> after the reset. Did you take Link's armor off, troll? No, I, I, I can see that happening, just like, put him in his bathing suit. In his swimsuit, because you could do that in the game, but it never came to mind. It would be hilarious if, like, you could unlock that as a armor set, and then you could dye his shorts. That would be a funny thing. A funny little detail. See. Daily Trills Rito. Let's see. Who do I want to play as? <laughs> I can't play as the boy. <laughs> Rito Ravali beating up the Rito. But he should be able to. It is only fair. Brain going so fast I forgot to actually take off Link's armor so he could freeze in the cold. Darn. That's a problem with me. My brain's just like, I shall do this, but right after this, and then immediately gone. Now let's see, Eleanor. Oh, you can send the egg on an adventure! You can send the egg on an adventure! That is, a, that revolutionizes the loading screen for me. Yes! Yes, that is great. That is amazing. And you can jump with me! Thank you, Mario LC. This is the greatest little thing. I ha I I uh, hesitate to call it an Easter egg, but it's just like a little loading screen secret. It's amazing. And we get to hear the best music. Yes. My favorite music in the game. Absolutely fantastic. Well, we can fly. You flew in at the wrong time, boys. Flew in at the absolute worst time. You're killing bird people, how could you? It's an alternate timeline universe thing. The egg says so, and we trust the egg, but not the evil egg with the banana pile. But this egg, our egg, we trust our egg. And besides, we were already killing, like, Hylian soldiers before. And even in the normal timeline, we were killing bird people, so I think it all kind of evens out to... Uh, things are kind of whack in Hyrule right now. Open sesame! La, 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 la. Yep. I fought you so much better the first time and when our duel got interrupted by Zelda. Of all things, really. It was a good thing that she interrupted us, but still, I totally would have beat you then. Nope. Oh, okay. I think I wall jumped there. I read about that earlier. Nope. And I got a rush. Yay. Punish the weak spot. kicked me. How could you? And he bummed me. Double how could you? Told you that Ravali was a drone. Okay. No more bomb arrows. 
Palm Arrow allies be gone. Dang it. Missed it. Missed my window of opportunity by a hair. I shall bomb you. Bomb you in return. Yep. Plain sloppy against you all of a sudden. It was so clean the first time we fought, my boy. Why did it ever introduce time travel? Now the timeline's too confusing. I mean, one of the most popular Zelda games, actually two of the most popular Zelda games, uh, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time had time travel, so really it's just really going in and really using the time travel this time. Eggy Boy too powerful. He creates his own timelines. Eggy Boy is the Zelda timeline. Nope, 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 nope. Oh boy. Quit being a drone. Quit being a drone. I ah oh crap. I need to eat an apple. I need to throw bombs high, and I don't know how to do that. Ah. Let's see. Get an arc in there. I was throwing bombs too close to him. I know that I'm invading your home in this timeline, but that's no need for terrorizing boat. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Nintendo. Yeah, let's make about five alternate universes so Zelda fans can spend 20 years figuring out what's real, or if all of them are canon and die of, and die of brain seizure. Basically. But at the same time... Oh, ghost. I did another... I think I kicked off his hand. Time to finish this. You're not to be overlooked, are you? Next time, things will go differently. I doubt it, boy! It is kind of funny that for the longest time, the Zelda timeline just kind of existed, and then eventually Nintendo said, Hey, here, timeline. Continue main story win. It's kind of like a flow. Sometimes I'll go and do a bunch of the side things. It's basically whenever I feel like it. Let's see how many of the side dealies. I would do them, but they do last quite a bit. And then there's only one. Yeah, so yeah, let's continue the main story. Well, let's see. Are there any upgrade thingies we can do that I care about? Quickly. Uh, Mifa bonus combo. Mifa has been... Uh, Mifa has added swimming to her daily training regimen. You'd think that would just be a part of Zora life, but okay. Even for Zora, she is a first-rate swimmer, but she wishes to refine her technique even further by studying how fish traverse the currents. But you are a fish! What's your favorite character as of now? In this game, I just adore Ravali. Both as a character, his design, and his playstyle. His playstyle is great for just wiping out hordes of enemies. Of course, we're bringing in the flight boy. Raise that experience. Let us invade the forest. <laughs> Usually everybody hates him because of personality. I understand his personality. He has that kind of love-to-hate aspect, but then he's also just genuinely awesome. The king issued his first order to the Divine Beast pilots. Seek out the knight who could wield the sword that seals the darkness. This would require that they vanquish the I'm sad, you can't bring the egg out to, where the like, photobomb <laughs> the story <laughs> All murals. All pilots were to take part. Zelda, seeking data to help calibrate the Divine Beasts, accompanied them. As did Link, for he always stayed by the princess's side. <laughs> I wonder who it is indeed. I mean, Daruk was on the right path before the Yiga clan invaded. And we just have a nice jump with the Eggy Boy. I wonder who the knight is. I think the Highland Captain for sure. 
Obviously, it's Ravali. Be hilarious if it was Zelda. The king chose us to perform this pivotal task. It will be my honor to excel as always. To excel, sheet as always. Then there's you. The one part that doesn't add up. Why should this nobody be trusted to lead us in the coming battle? I mean, he is. He's from a lineage of royal knights. It doesn't matter who's the leader. We're all in this together, right? You are, of course, mistaken. My divine beast is the key. It's the only one that can fly. Therefore, it's the most important. It makes no sense. Well, my one comfort is that your reputation will be... <laughs> Rivali uses swords now, okay. <laughs> that would be Fall hilarious. Night. I mean, there <laughs> is a Rito sword. Rivali, how long do you expect us to put up with your prattle, huh? I've said enough. The time has come to show you what I'm made of. Now witness. Va Meadow's divine power. I shall lead us, for I am the Birdman. Now if only Va Meadow could use <laughs> swords, then everything would be perfect. Shoot! Shoot her! Gotta destroy! Gotta destroy! All the flying boys! There's a base there, it must be destroyed. I forget the controls for this all the way. Oh yeah, we can shoot from below too! I don't know the range on that. Var Meadow has a force field! Destroy, destroy all the outposts. Var Meadow, just drone strike the beast. Wonders never cease, just all the destruction. Quit spotting in, balloon boys. Ganon could have died instantly. <laughs> Let's see. Need to read everything, but I'm currently flying a ship. I mean, it's oddly enough. To read the full thing after I destroy the army. Destroy, 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 destroy. Oh, it has an alternate barrage mode. I never knew that. I never knew that it actually had like an alternate barrage mode. their armies, destroy their outposts. Thought you could take on them. It is kind of funny. We can destroy the flying beast. Hook up some balloons to some wood. Let's see. Destroy, destroy. Get out of the way. Your hot air balloons got nothing on this flying beast.
I wonder what the Koroks in the forest are thinking. Wow, the rain sure is loud today. There we go. What would happen if Zoro, Rito, Goron, Gerudo joined the Yika? Bro, Hyrule was completely prepared. Ganon would have died instantly. Yeah, let me aim at the castle real quick. I've never actually seen a Divine Beast fall. Yeah, I've never... Like, I think I've come close to losing all the health from one reason or another. Usually just like, I don't need to use my shield function. And then, oh god, <laughs> time to play carefully. But I don't think I've ever failed on them. I wonder if they have a unique animation or if it's just like, quickly, game over, we can show them. Can't show the elephant falling. It would just depress the children. All clear over here. Okay, let's go. Depress the children, yes. Giant machine fell. Complete sadness. Canon timeline, all the heroes dying? Ah, oh, perfectly fine. <laughs> As the game has probably made thousands cry. And they're here. <laughs> it is vital that we show him and a close-up on his textured nose nostrils. Ah, it's the dude! Maraca's man. This is quite the fog. <sighs> Are we even making progress? We could just be going in circles. <laughs> Good point. If only someone could fly above and scout the way. As though I could see anything through this His mind. name is Hes Us, Hestu. I forget many people's voice. names. Getting lost is the least of our worries. If something attacked us, we wouldn't see it coming. You can't even see Hestu yes. over here. We must He's playing maracas. Even can't even hear him. <laughs> and now suddenly you can see him. <laughs> Hestu is a fantastic character. Spirit of the forest. Oh, me? I am the one who brings song and dance to Korok Forest. Hestu. Hestu, spirited musician. A Korok. That's great. Mind guiding us through the fog then? So. Oh, I'd love to get home myself. Hmm. But there are scary, mean monsters in the woods, and I can't get past them. You could probably sneak right by if you didn't have those noisy maracas. Oh, never mind. But they're his weapons. We have business in the forest. That's how Hestu you oppresses the monsters when he gets angry. He's just in the back like, so this is happening. Do you actually know Mr. Evil Man's name? I did know it, but then my... I mean, I can't even remember Hestu's name. And he was in Breath of the Wild. I can't remember Mr. Original's name. Dance of the Egg. Show us the way. Oh, hey, Korok. Give me... Immediate Korok. All right. Let's see. Since uh, everything's broken up, I'm gonna set my allies to follow me. <laughs> Actually, you can pass through here. Let us beat up the monsters. <laughs> this is the first time we run into skeletons. Uh, 
Is he in danger? When I can play him, I remember him being quite the powerhouse. Bro, there's King Rome, Bathrumus Hyrule. I think I'm missing a joke. <laughs> Mr. Evil Man's name is Mr. Evil Man. <laughs> he just decided, to, you know, the way I'm going to take that is like, Mr. Evil Man, I'm going to rename myself King <laughs> Bosphoramus Hyrule. King is part of the name. Super happy that I can do the fly e comp. Ow, oh, he kicked me! I was flying, doing damage to your weak point. Stay there already. There we go. Smash the bones. Must destroy the choo choos. I'll just quickly go this way and destroy. Allies, stay with Hestu. I shall be over this way, destroying. Well, I was gonna be over here to destroy the. The one dude, this dude. Fire Wizro! Ow. Leave me alone! A Zelda streamer who plays Breath of the Wild with mods a lot has a joke where he freaks out whenever the old man is like, I'm King Bosphoramus Hyrule. He's like, oh gee, is that the real King Bosphoramus? That is funny. And his whole chat just pretends to freak out. That is fantastic. Now I want to be original, uh, not like them other girls, and say, look, it's the... <laughs> Whenever he appears, it's the real queen of Hyrule. The divorce was really messy. And now, the truth is revealed. She's taking Hyrule in the divorce. I don't know why, that just highly amuses me. The Yiga clan or the divorce court. And then she'll make off with everything and won't pay the bailiff. Suga will be very disappointed. He was looking to going to Rito Village for vacation. She's divorcing Bosphoramus and going to marry Calamity Ganon, taking Hyrule in the divorce. When you realize that the queen died a long time ago. He's very sad. Why is his eye the only organic thing left? Well, I guess bones are organic, but you know what I mean. Flesh adjacent object. Okay, just... No, you don't. That was close. Beat him up, Hestu. Show him the music of pain. No, you don't. Beat him up! Beat him up! <laughs> hey, arrows, I'm sure arrows damage bones a lot, indeed. Well, I mean, they probably can. Depends on the bow, but yeah. 
And plus, this is fantasy arrows. Where a bow can fire literal multiple arrows in multiple directions from one bowstring fire. Impo is very strong. She is. The <laughs> Basically, Breath of the Wild... Uh, Breath of the Wild as it is canon. Breath of the Wild if Impa retained her youth. Oh no! It's cold lava! Must be the work of the Yiga clan. They're like Captain Planet villains. Pouring pollution in a forest. Impa, Link is taking too long. I'm gonna say hi rule myself. Basically. Oh, hey. The map just opened up crazily. Let's see. Yeah, that way, Ravali will take the left side of the forest all by himself. Probably. Oh, I can play as Hestu! Yeah! Yeah, boy! Okay. Uh, you can make your way over there as I play as Hestu! The happy tree maraca man! He is no longer scared. Now he craves violence. As Link dies from one single moblin in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that is the funny thing. I mean, for God's sakes, in, Hy in the uh, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, you can just annihilate some bosses that otherwise are like, Oh no! Link, are you alright? Type enemies. Freeze! Oh no! Well, I got a for uh, uh, the rush anyway. So it all works out! Ah, uh, crap. I'm trying to think. The, <laughs> Nintendo decided, you know, other people need Shadow Links of their own. Link doesn't need to be the only one with a Shadow Link. Dang it, we almost got a turn one weak spot. There we go. If Zelda didn't manage to weaken Ganon in Breath of the Wild so that there was way less enemies, Link would have died two minutes after going out. Yeah, because if you think about it, this is kind of like what <laughs> everything is without Calamity Ganon being weak. Enemies in the literal thousands just marching upon the world. So yeah, thank you, Zelda. You did great work. Beat him up. Beat him up, I said. With your fancy upside down shield, I just realized. It looks kind of upside down held normally. Yeah, Zelda. Yeah, just keep bidding up the whiz rope.
<laughs> this is the canon world of Calamity Ganon on the rise again. Just enemies in the tens of thousands all over the place. Because this is just in the frickin' forest. Granted, there's not that many in the forest so far. But still. I wonder how many enemies... I want that to be... I, I wonder if there's, like, somebody who's ever done a comparison is just like, in a casual playthrough of Breath of the Wild, what is the most enemies that you would kill? And then in a casual playthrough of Age of Calamity, what is the maximum enemies you will kill? On like, uh, not counting replaying levels and stuff. Beat them up! Freeze them and beat them up! Put them into the deep freezer! I exploded. Age of Calamity. A huge number. Breath of the, Breath of the Wild, like, two, lol. Basically, yeah. Zelda's like, I'm, I can help! Immediately. Just gets... stunned by lightning. Of course, you're too slow on the draw, Zelda. It immediately just like, I'm not going to show my weak point. You want bombs? I have this bomb construct. I'm terrible at playing Zelda. At least this form of Zelda. I remember that she changes decently later on. After a key emotional point where everything just goes to hell. He's already dead. Zelda's just like, I'm going to do this big wind up on this one Lizalfos. Zolfos did nothing to you. Like, literally, I don't think it did anything to you. I was trying to dodge, and by trying to dodge, I literally dodged none of them. Funny how characters don't die, they just flee. In this, well, when we fight enemies, like the Moblins, they die. With the Iga clan, they probably flee. So yeah. And then you fight like actual enemies and that have names like Master Koga. Or even Ravali, and then it's just like either it ends before you kill them. Or they flee. We have to keep the timeline. Be gone, Keys. I will always charge directly into projectile enemies, always thinking that I can outspeed their projectiles. It's just how it goes. Defeat the Hollow! Ah, so this is a Fire Emblem... What is it? Awakening? Fire Emblem Awakening crossover, is it? Just a lots of Hollows. Aha! Always looking for that opportunity to get more damage on the weak spot. Go and help Zelda. And now, for just the wonderful base clearing power of Rivali. He just clears bases so easily. If Ravali was a mascot for a capitalist product, it would be some kind of cleaning solution. Or an airliner. Probably both. And a cleaning solution for an airliner. Watch and learn. You stand a chance. How dare you! 
avoid all the destruction. Actually, you kind of didn't. I keep forgetting. That up there, that's the outpost, not your health. I need to actually lock onto you to actually get your health. Me, silly. Boat ore. The best weapon. Up. I guess it kind of works. Not, not super well, but it works. I didn't even get it started. But I can still freeze you. With a deluge of arrows. So it all kind of works out. Also, I mean, flee, it meant you and your allies. That is kind of an all-around thing. Hmm. For some reason, that kind of brought to mind a thing. Uh, like in actual Fire Emblem Awakening, when you die, it was like, no! Except if you, like, at least for the... Crom and the player character. Ah, Ravali gets to beat himself. It's his dream come true. He didn't just steal my good looks, but also none parallel talents. The nerve of this guy! Ravali has it all sorted out. Except he has just terrible combos. Yeah, I got to zero health points. Let me just get the non-existent energy to run away. You sandwich fury. You have infinite energy some of the time. <laughs> we'll keep in that bay. Hurry on, friends. Hestu has decided, home can wait. Violence must come first. What are the reactions of the champions to all their hollows? I don't know. I just... No, just got uh, Rivali's there. So it is kind of nice that they have little text box reactions there. And now... Link versus... A 1v4! Link very hollow. As creepy music box plays. Okay, Zelda, go grab your sword. No, she's too busy playing with her tablet. That's how she fights. Hmm. Also, that's not my sword. My sword is a better sword. Oh, it, oh never mind. It's because they destroyed my sword. And the guy is just walking away. <laughs> she fights by playing Roblox on her iPad. Kill her, Kill her he says. <laughs> the egg is time to defend. Good. It actually shows the hollows dissolving from the light. So it's not just like... Why would the hollows turn to look around? She can defend herself with the slate! What is she doing? Well, even then, with the slate, she still is kind of fumbling. Literally, her fighting style is fumbling about with the tablet. And I guess right at that moment, I guess it could be inferred that maybe Link has the tablet, since there's only one tablet. I don't know. Link is sacrificing his hearts to pull the sword. He must have maximum hearts. <laughs> All the characters can use the tablet when you switch to them, meaning the tablet teleports. Eh, gameplay, diddly-dee. 
like a separation. It's kind of the same reason. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just killing everything! Master Sword powers! Well, it's just kind of there as a convenience thing, so it's not just like, oh, you have to play this character or you don't get the tablet deal. It would kind of suck if you're like, like, I don't want to play this mission because Zelda's there and she hogs the tablet. <laughs> Aster, Prophet of Doom. King Bosphoramus' ex-wife. I will end you my soul. With music notes of doom? Your power is mine for the taking. Ah, you're a power vampire. Ow. Quit shooting me with calamity powers. Ow. Ow. Non-standard game... Non-standard fight style is how it beats me. Much in the same way that Moblin's just kicking me. Kicks my ass. Oh crap, I, I ran in a circle instead of away. <laughs> a classic folly. <laughs> Didn't he speak well in stasis? <laughs> Not realistic, zero out of ten. Uh, he speaks of magic. Oh, I got a flurry rush, yeah! I think I'm missing him. I, I tell, I went to where he was, was going to be. Instead of where he was. Okay, we can let him go because we need to beat the hollows. Or do you want me to kill Hollow or not? Killing Hollow. He knows the egg follows Link in the fight. Yep, the egg likes to do that. Like in the first level. Dang it! Oh, there we go. He weakened himself summoning Hollows. Silly Aster. You need to go back to Fallout 4. Nope. Go back and stop being a wizard and become a knight, Aster. Clearly works out better for you. Playtime's over. Whatever you say, boy. Beat him up. Aster. Oh no, I died. Not <laughs> teleports. Basically. <laughs> Why die when you can teleport? <laughs> yeah, turn one! One turn, weak point smash. That sword, it is too powerful. I got Maracas! Yeah! Freeing Korok Forest, victory. Booyah! Levels for everyone. And a brand new tablet. <laughs> Ancient power boost. Ancient memory part. <laughs> Wait, why is this why is this called memory part when this is obviously the thing that's adding more to the tablet? Apple with its naming variety. Ooh, give me this new new things! Now take off links off or I disown you. No, father, please! I want to go to Mario LC. I guess he was sleeping through all that. <laughs> Great Deku Tree. Uh... All is well. I had a nice the nap. The sword you hold is the key to defeating the calamity, to sealing the dark. But what about the light? We need to Young seal that hero. too for equilibrium. You Fun fact, the Deku Tree has the same voice actor as Rivali. 
<laughs> that is hilarious. Ravali goes back in time, gets turned into a tree, and just mellows out. And you, princess, do not lose hope. The pass will open for you soon. I see. Forgive me. A deep slumber beckons. And it will take me about a hundred years. About a time skip's worth. You have all that is needed to face whatever destiny awaits. Our Lord's fate is in your hands. That's discrimination against the Rito. In their wings, too. Wait, what was the exact point you made it through on your first run? What was the exact point you made it through on your first run? My brain cannot comprehend that sentence for some reason. Hestu, spirited musician. The musician of Korok Forest who loves to dance. He favors a set of maracas filled with Korok seeds. Some believe his dancing possesses mystical powers. What part of the story did you make it to on your other run? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, like I said, we got to, I think, the part where Aster was kind of like, Okay, Yiga Clan, time to face the truth. Calamity Ganon is bringing Calamity, and that includes you. <laughs> and then we got to play as the Big Banana. So yeah, Hyrule Castle fell. King Rom is just like, I am going to be a good father now, and dies... Somewhere around there, give or take a few missions. And there's a Rito monster hunter who needs help. She wants to venture to a plateau with frequent lightning strikes, but it's not safe to approach without a boost or electricity resistance. I won't stop aiming high. With plenty of electricity resistant materials at her disposal, the Rito went back to the plateau to slay monsters. Rumor has it that she culled their numbers quite a bit. What's the house? From rusty to trusty, gang ability to de-rust weapons. The blacksmith's guild is searching for a way to restore a rusty weapons in a jiffy. Does the secret lie with a monster that spits out weapons like new? Get parts of them to aid in the research. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Take off legs on for now! Once we get to a mission, I'm doing upgrades. After testing it on various materials, the Blacksmith Guild was happy to report they found a way to polish up weapons like Rock Octoroks do. Now you can use it on rusty weapons! The Hylian Blacksmith Guild is capable of removing rusty weapons you find in battle. You're gonna... Let's see. Guess we can do a quick side quest. Is there a quick side quest? There's a quick murder! Here's a quick murder. And now... Time to take off your clothes. Hilarious. Now you can go and freeze to death in the mountains, Link. Off we go! For murder! Who, who needs upgrades when you have skill? That's true. Also use Impa more. There are too many characters. Too many characters. But Impa is definitely like, I'd say top three what I have currently. Come forth, Egg. Egg had to spawn in. Can't believe I never realized that. Then again, you never really touch the shoulder buttons during load screens. Usually, like, <laughs> with the little loading screen secret for uh, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, it was playing the ocarina with the face buttons. Yep. Head for the target musician. But I want to murder people. You spit rocks at me? <laughs> Bitch. I think I forgot to... This is why I do not rush. I should have looked at my weapons. Freeze! Freeze in the mountains! Ah, I see Lizalfo's tail. Oh yeah. Link VA. Basically. That's why I found it hilarious to use him in Soul Calibur 2. It was a fun time. 
How dare you? Oh, good. I have using the Master Sword. Destruction. Destruction and destroy. Who needs the Game Boy when you have the Destroy Boy? Destroy them all! Double Weak Point Massacre! Booyah! Now you really don't want to get hit by this Link because you're not wearing any clothes and it's extra cold out. Destruction. He has spoken before, but it's all off screen. Very sad. Yeah, I think they, the Breath of the Wild excuse is like he takes it so seriously that he doesn't want to, like he wants to, I don't know, essentially wants to maintain composure and wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Link decided that he wants to throw, uh, wants to shoot bow and arrow instead of throw bombs. Nope. 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 I need to get more flurry rushes. But I suck at that. He's the silent knight. He speaks to Zelda sometimes, though. Yeah, and you, I think you can even find, like, uh his diary or something in Breath of the Wild. That's why you get the funny thing where after he awakens after a hundred years of sleep, he has, he's very much more willing to have funny and sassy lines in the little text box of dialogue choices sometimes. Whereas this Link is like, I have to remain silent and composed. Honor my family's legacy. Freeze the horseman. Quite the muscled horseman, isn't he? Kill, kill, smash, smash and kill. Give me your sword. Then again, that looks more like something that it looks like a dagger that Daruk would wield. <laughs> Oh, not his. It's in Zelda's diary. <laughs> I'm cool and silent. Also, Link, epic pose for camera in Breath of the Wild. Well, like I said, depends. Would be kind of funny if he did do poses in the past. <laughs> Link, we must find out. We must iron out the selfie feature of the Sheikah Slate. Epic poses. Link cannot carry any more weapons. We must now sell the children. And then the children were sold. Excuse me. He's so serious, he eats prime rock roast for dinner. <laughs> I would I would say that's more like him being social, like, social anxiety. He gets handed prime rock roast and he's just like, Well, I can't refuse it. I have to eat it now. Let's see. Hester was sad. His maracas lacked the rattle for some good shalaka. Find something to give his maracas more of a rattle. Weapon capacity plus one! Yay! Hestu was over... Yes. Yes. <laughs> Happy at that. Use weapons to upgrade other weapons. Yes. I know. But you're the one that threw me into taking off Link's clothes like a heathen. <laughs> Hester was overjoyed to hear that his maracas rattled better, so he showed you his happy dance, Shaki Shaka. Yes, yes, we know. We read the thing. We can read, Zelda! We can read! We can up- can we upgrade? We can upgrade the Master Sword. Experience would be pretty nice. We will look into upgrading 
monster part harvesting at a later date. For a thousand dollars, we will upgrade the Master Sword. How do you even upgrade the Master Sword? Shouldn't it be masterful already? The blacksmith just says, Don't you question it. Shut up. Do not question how our magic works, young child man. Are you a blacksmith? Mm -hmm. We got into prime condition to do this. Why are you, why? Why are you using 11 maraca when 20 maraca is right there? Just looking at see who has the biggest pile of weapons. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, we can't do that. But that would be a hefty upgrade. We shall save and uh, this off since it's just like automatically grabs it. We will wait until we get a weapon that's like, hey, monster parts. Those monster parts are delicious. Hm. You want attack speed for Impa? That's also true. But I want weapon. <laughs> I want the parts of the monsters. I want dismemberment. <laughs> Can see anything interesting? Apple capacity. Well, obviously we need apple capacity. Hestu is going to host a Korok ballet performance soon. While they rehearse for Hestu, find Hestu and the others what they need to really shake things up for this show. Absolutely adorable. Hestu loved how the Korok show turned out. The ballet was adorable and the music was great. So he showed you his happy dance. Shaki Shaka! Want that bonus combo? Let's read. For some reason, a Korok is bawling their eyes out. Hestu wants to turn that frown upside down. We never... They have mouths confirmed with the magic of dance, but there's something he needs before he can get his groove on. One Korok seed and a hundred dead Bacoblins. Absolutely adorable. Seeing Hestu shimmy and shake to the rhythm of the Maracas, the Korok's tear-streaked face broke into a smile, as thanks the spirit offered to tag along with their big sibling. <laughs> Hestu in combat. Here's my little brother, throw. Up, ah, gotta stay hydrated. Thank you for the pro gamer move. That's why I added it. I forget to drink water. And another bonus combo. Yaha! Korok is feeling blue because their favorite pinwheel broke. Now it doesn't spin at all. They'd really appreciate it if someone made them a new one. You know, out of bugs, fish, and dead bacoblins. I find it funny because it almost seems like the... <laughs> the Korok won't accept the new pinwheel unless you have proof that you murdered 200 bacoblins. This pinwheel means nothing unless I know that bacoblins have died. Daruk plans to attempt a classic Goron test of courage, rolling down from a mountain and stopping just before he falls into lava. Help him boost his speed so he'll have plenty of momentum. The next battle's on me! <laughs> the next battle. He will antagonize the monsters into making us. Now make Hydrate cost 10 so I can make you drown. That is a thing that I should probably do. <laughs> Lower the cost of that so that it's actually more useful. See? This is why <laughs> testing is important. <laughs> After a running start, Daruk rolled down from the precipice at a terrifying speed. Fortunately, he skidded to a stop with mere inches between him and the lava. Perhaps this skill will help him in battle. Well, the, we shall follow the egg. Hestu's training. Hestu must go and murder. He's so big and chunky. <laughs> I 
It'll, yeah, it'll help him the one time he is about to fall into lava. <laughs> I think it's more about gaining control of stopping. And the egg must dance. The ballet of the egg. It can leap tall towers. I fly at you! Freeze! Imagine getting beaten to death by maracas. I am a trained soldier of the Hyrulean army. Or Hylian. And a giant tree man is beating my ass. I'm stealing their food, and I forgot to equip the powerful maracas. Throw chests at them! <gasps> Throw everything! Throw the tree. Throw yourselves. Halloween soldiers are kind of weak, not gonna lie. Oh, they've survived this long. Tagging along with the madness of Link. So they have to be okay. Time to die in a dance of the death! <laughs> we give up. We're being beaten by trees. <laughs> That's because they respawn after dying. We are sorry to inform you that your son has died, but luckily he respawned. <laughs> the life of an NPC. Now we need... Now we need a death battle. Hestu versus Captain Falcon. Who will win? Tree or future? And now I'm just imagining Hestu in place of that, uh... That snowman is just like, I'm gonna make a snowman. Then the snowman drops him, the child. It was parodied by Iron Brew. He took my Iron Brew and let go of my hand. Imagine you could play as a Hylian captain. That would actually be fun, I think, in a weird way. Just let me play as weird enemies in games. <laughs> Drop Hestu on your foe! Hestu is the best projectile. Run. Flee for your lives. The tree looks over you. You get to command all the soldiers. <laughs> so basically, a Hylian captain that kind of plays like Hestu where he's just like orders his soldiers to do things. That'd be kind of fun. And we got more Korok seed. I think we'll do one volcanic defense with the pilot Van Varudania. Then we will do a main story. Or actually, it's one it wants me to do this. No, it's Zelda's training. I'm terrible with Zelda. So later. Varudania, then main story, and then I think that will be it for... Well, <laughs> for a moment it's like, Why does it show me tutorial? I wanted to go forwards.
dance of the egg. It flies across all of Hyrule, giving children concussions. Destroy, 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 destroy. Blitz the enemy to death, Billy. There are some alive. They must go. Why even would you invade the lava place? Seriously. Who in their right mind would try and invade Death Mountain? Time to stomp on some Igneous. Out of the way, small munchkin enemies. It is obvious at this point that the enemy is only existing by pure volume of fire. They, o they only have explosive barrels to their name. They can exist in many places. <laughs> Hello, balloon. They command an army of balloons. Sentient balloons. So is this just like ancient Pokemon and then like the Zora, Rito, and the Gorons devolve into Pokemon? Along with all the monsters. Plant enchanting. For the annihilation of full species. I saw there were far too many big ugly monsters, so they had to die. I love these sections. These sections are just so fun because they're so different. They break up, like, they they fit the theme of, like, uh, they fit the theme of Warriors games. They fit the theme of just annihilating tons of enemies, while at the same time, breaking up the normal gameplay. I love it. Who needs half the time when I can just walk at the enemy? Out of the way, little monsters. <laughs> the annihilation is here. <laughs> nice YouTube channel with the latest upload being two years ago. Yep. That's what happens when I try to be like, I want to do grand editing content. And then I focus too much on this details. I really should add the VOD channel down there. Thing for later. That actually reminds me, I need to add that. But now, let us do one final story chapter. And of course, let's see, do we have any... Nope, just experience. Would you like an egg or a sweet? A single egg to raise your experience. And I think you should finish the whole game now. With the discovery that's of impossible. The seals the darkness, hope Especially because my internet's been upgraded in like 24 hours sometime. No matter how so it's going to come down anyway. Training in research. Doubts plagued her. To clear her mind, Princess Zelda joined the pilots on a mission to investigate some unusual relics. Alas, their expedition bore no fruit, and they set off on the road back to Hyrule Castle. I kind of want to see 
Ravali messing around with unusual relics. <laughs> you can finish the game in less than 24 hours. Doubt. Because <laughs> I spend too much time being like, I have to get... I forgot to put on... I forgot to put on his armor. Dramatic story with Link being a feral goblin child. If I am unable to awaken my inner power... The musical egg. That song. <sighs> egg, you are my music box. Well, I mean, Link now kind of wears the same amount of armor as Daruk, so I think it all. <laughs> it all evens out. No! Be gone, monster! You are fighting the gob- <laughs> The Goblin of Hyrule! He is not the hero, he is the Goblin! Annihilate them all! Oh yeah! Kill them all! Kill them all! Kill everything! That should be a tagline of like Warriors games. Kill everything, including the frame rate. Would be funny if you ran out of time. Considering me and my I want to go do everything in a map feature, that's entirely possible. Luckily, it'll be like, hey, half the time is remaining, so I'll be like, oh man, fine, I'll go do the, I'll do the mission. Laser beams! Lasers! <laughs> Will it blend with Link? These enemies. Will the Bokoblin blend? Stop spinning around. For I will not spin you round, baby. Annihilation comes for the Bokoblin. Especially the hideous Bokoblin that was way too big. Way too big. And consistent, um, on the topic of way too big, way too many enemies. Get out of here. Be gone. There's a three. Now that's far more than three. That is far more than the allotted amount of Bokoblins that can exist in the entire world in one place. Aha! I got the rush on! Annihilate the blue Moblin. Get out of here. Even though I swear it doesn't look blue. I guess it's meant to be like these guys. But it doesn't look blue to me. Double D double die. Magical sword beams. Gotta destroy the boxes. Because I need all the money. I'm going the wrong way. Link. You cannot tell right from left. That is why he kept switching his dominant hand during the Twilight Princess era. Come to me in a giant blender. 
just wait for the big boy to spawn. Okay, he hit me from the side. I'm just gonna laser beam you. Call upon all my gremlin energies. I flew up into the sky. Got hit by the sun, flying right at me. No horn blowing for you, dear boy. Oh, he did it from far over there. Ah, this works anyway. I was trying to do the ice block, the ice block. But so long as one moblin dies, it works. Ow! I was doing a thing. How dare you? Freeze, moblin boy. Link scared off the monsters. Uh, less scared off and more just absolutely annihilated till all of them were gone. It's not really scaring off if I'm scaring them so bad that their soul leaves their body and they die. Come on, Lizalfos. Oh, hello, friend. You ruined my laser beams. Be gone, Wizrobe. No more laser beam ruining for you. Mean Wizrobe. You might actually run out of time if you kill every single enemy you see. Eh, not every single enemy. Just a lot of them. Like a combo square. <laughs> I like how the it says, thanks for bail bailing us out, but the voice line was, what? I just can't help myself when I see a large group of enemy. It must die. Same thing with boxes. I see box, box must die. How dare you freeze me, Ice Moblin. I can never see their kicks coming. There we go. I want to see you beat the whole game now. Well, hopefully, I will continue this game with subsequent streams. Probably intermingled between me playing Pokemon Crystal and whenever I feel like I want to do a little bit different, I will come do this. To break the monotony. Have bombs in your face, Wizard Man. <laughs> yes, let's just combine the Legend of Zelda Pokemon. Pro move. Now I want to see, I mean, I was going to say something about like, oh, well, Link's in Mario Kart. But it's like, hmm, Pokemon's not in Mario Kart. Now I want to see that. Pikachu in Mario Kart. No, Rapidash as a vehicle. Yes. Rapidash would be the best motorcycle. Destruction! You just decide to 
wait until all your friends are dead, didn't you, Wizrobe? <laughs> Everyone, follow Link's lead. Grab a hold of the Master Sword. That is the only way, if all soldiers wielded the Master Sword at the same time, there's nothing that Calamity Ganon could possibly do. Just an absolute army over here. Quit freezing me! That is my job, and by freeze I mean kill. <laughs> it's physically impossible to duplicate or make another, so, uh. Yeah, that's why I said everyone will wield the Master Sword at the same time! Just imagine, like, a big ball of Hylian soldiers. All swinging the Master Sword at the same time. Why don't they have the knights use guardian weapons? Probably because, like, oh, they're probably dangerous, or they're untested, or maybe they just don't have many that are functioning. I mean, uh, for example, at this point in the game, I only have uh, uh, a guardian weapon because of the DLC that I bought. So probably later they'll be like, we finally have some Guardian stuff. Kill the Hollows. No hesitation. <laughs> Ganon would lose instantly. Uh, I think the entirety of Breath of the Wild was that they became so reliant on Guardian technology that when Calamity Ganon came out, it was just like, and uh, by the way, those are all mine and mine. Uh, everything went to extra bad. Quite honestly, their reliance on Guardian technology is what caused Breath of the Wild in the first place. To a degree. I mean, they probably still would have lost and had a bunch of destruction at the hands of monsters without the Divine Beasts and the Guardians defending everything. But uh, maybe the decline of everything would have been a bit slower without Guardians going rogue. I think the entire thing of Sheikah technology, like, on the one hand, we don't know how Impa does her laser beams. On the other hand, I think the entire thing about the Guardians is that they are Sheikah technology just long, long ago, and that the modern Sheikah don't have that level of technology anymore. At least, yeah, not a firm grasp of it. Quit freezing me! I'm killing moblins over here! At least we're destroying a bunch of the rocklet things. Hyrule was 100% prepared for Ganon and uh but and Ganon ambushed them. Yep, they took he took control of the guardians. So I think it even basically shows in Breath of the Wild if the divine beasts and everything actually functioned against the calamity Ganon that he was pretty much doomed. Link could have been there, ready to fight him with the Master Sword at full power. The Divine Beasts were ready to hold off any of his enemies, and as well as blast Calamity Ganon. Booyah! I didn't even mean to do that, really. Double break! Oh, and then I think there's gonna be a big, big monster that wants me to fight at the end. Gotta destroy the boxes. 
the biggest enemy of Hyrule. But Link decided to die to a guardian instead, and Zelda achieved her power about two hours too late. Yeah, basically. And it was less die to a guardian and more like, oh god, I have to fight a bunch of guardians now, and they slowly whittled him down. Okay, the frame rate just died there. Absolute hilarity. Wrong thing. Get on top. Camera is like, does not know what to do. Throw bombs! Also, funny thing is Ravali flexes about being the most powerful while losing to Wind Blight, which is the easiest one. But at the same time, Wind Blight, uh, since it's it's been a while since I fought Wind Blight, but it could have probably been very good at like deflecting his arrows and stuff because you know wind; it has control of wind, so it might have made flying harder for him, made it harder for him to land arrows and such. But I forget how you actually fight it in the game, so maybe I'm just wrong. <laughs> I'm just going off of, well, wind kind of assumes this. Oh, my bomb, 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 battlefield! <laughs> the small delay on it dying amused me. I destroy all the talises. Wahaha. <laughs> Fear the gremlin of Hyrule. <laughs> Link cannot carry any more weapons. Oh, and don't give me <laughs> any actual good cell weapons, why don't you? Ah, but we do have a rust if that we can de-rust. And we got frogs. <laughs> But also the funny thing is, the fastest way to beat Wind Blight is to use arrows! Yeah, well, Wind Blight was out of practice. It was there for a hundred years. It didn't have arrows to fight. <laughs> Obviously. Link, he's become so much stronger. And yet I have not. I presume that's what you're thinking? It's the same thing. Hmm? The game, it lies, it's slandering Ravali. His weakness is arrows! His weakness is Link's arrows. Big difference. So, there isn't much time. The game is basically propaganda against Ravali. It's revisionist history in which Ravali was right all along, and Link is using puppets. To tell the story and be like, look at me, I'm silent and cool. And his arrow weakness is... You know what it is? Bomb arrows! Then this really does go to show that Link's slander is so deep, he wants people to see. Like, see, Ravali uses bomb arrows. You know, like he used bomb arrows on me, but I was able to use bomb arrows against the wind blight and win. I'm so cool. The real narcissist of the story is Link. Poor, humble Ravali. He is. I'm trying to think. What's the thing? I used to forget. Bath. I wanted to make a pop culture reference and I failed. Thank 
Thank you, Argosa. You are like the mother I never had. And the father I never had, come to think of it. The pilots of the Divine Beasts. And the knight with the key to defeating Calamity Ganon. In a grand circuit, now I'm just imagining these five the heroes, Master Sword as a keyblade. And King Rome bestowed upon each the title of champion. The people gave cheer, the ceremony drew to an end, and the champions enjoyed a moment of rest. Everyone is fancy, and then there's just Impa in her normal we clothes. We have all the pieces on the board to start. I just realized clarity. her belt buckle is in a, a Sheikah eye. Hilarious. With the knight who seals the darkness, the four champions, and you, of course, I'm positive. We can turn back the And we have Egg. Egg is most important. That's because Impa is part of the Sheikah. Big brain. Making a nuisance of yourself? Unlike you, the princess is extremely busy. <laughs> he slapped her hand. Oh, you could have. Oh. Stop no, pointing at the egg. Egg says no pointing. We're trying to help the princess here. Come on, you two. There's no need to fight. Oh. How dare you <laughs> so disrespectfully in front of her highness? You troublesome teapot. <laughs> Daruk, about what we discussed. Ah, oh, so you're ready to begin your training. Let's get to it. Thank you. I hope to become stronger so that I can fight hmm? alongside. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I was just, um. Uh... <sighs> Enough. <laughs> Leave me out of this. If you must fight, do it elsewhere. Come back here. He's not even trying to leave. <laughs> And then he's like, he does not know how to walk away from a fight. Instead, he just flies. I love this. The fact that I wonder who like came up with this idea to be like, hey, you want another Hyrule Warriors game? Well, how about we set it in the big war leading up to Calamity Ganon? Have it be an alternate history, an alternate timeline, thanks to time travel. And it's just like, we get to see more of the characters, we get to do crazy things, and dear God, there's going to be so much to do next time. Uh... Let's see, what else can we... But I was going to look at it, but then you disappeared, Egg! Oh, we can't even do it. We need chicken egg. Oh, chicken legs. Ah. If you think about it, it's not alternate since it has uh, to have already happened if the egg came back. You have a point there. <laughs> if it's an alternate time, it can't be an alternate timeline, because the first timeline, well, at the same time. It's kind of alternate, but at the same time... It's just a... Uh, yeah, you, you got me there. And the egg would have made a new one, but the that can't be possible because Zelda's power activated the egg in the first place. The way I take it is like it's a mishmash of like the canon Breath of the Wild. The canon Breath of the Wild happened. And a uh, hundred years ago, the egg was awoken and thrown backwards even further in time to warn everyone and make sure that all the bad stuff didn't happen. And it's just that different bad stuff happened because the evil egg is there. And then, of course, the extra time shenanigans that happen that will shush shush because I have to act surprised when it happens. But anyways... <laughs> but, let's see. Meaning it makes a new timeline every time. 100% of the time. Also, the deviled egg is actually the egg. Of course that, because there's only one egg, so that there's two eggs is just time shenanigans. The evil egg was just like, ah, oh, the good egg went back to try and <laughs> stop Calamity Ganon. Calamity Ganon is, I'm going to shove myself on this egg, and then I'm going to go back after it. <laughs> the evil egg is the egg that hasn't awakened yet. Time shenanigans. <laughs> but I think that she'll do it. For now, we've been going for almost four hours playing this game, loving it. I just love it. When the egg came back, some malice came through. Yep, we saw that. In fact, that's actually 
part of the thing, I think. Ish. Nah. I thought there was a specific thing. But we did see the actual malice stuff fly after the egg. I think I noted it, maybe. On the first stream. I don't know. But -da 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 -da. This game is fun. I love it. I'm super... Whoever came up with the idea of just like, Hey, let's have more of the champions and pre-calamity stuff. is like, good idea to you. But yes. I think that will do it for now. I've been Neon Icy Wings, and if you want more from me, you can hit me up on YouTube at Neon Icy Wings for edited content that is two years old. I swear I'm making more ever so slowly. Or some stream VODs. Recordings of these streams on Neon Icy Games. I really need to actually put that below the Twitch stream. And of course, if you want to watch these, for those people that are watching this on YouTube after the fact, you can watch these live at Neon Icy Wings Twitch.tv. If you want other things from me, I try to do art, and you can see that on Twitter, Newgrounds, DeviantArt, and even Tumblr, because I just go multi. People look at art. Yeah. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I have been the Ice Wings. This has been Age of Calamity, Hyrule Warriors, and I hope to see you all next time. Yes. Bye. Bye.